Britney Spears. Despite releasing only one song in the past seven years, the pop star's music still resonates. Billboard's Stacey Lipsitz joins us to discuss how her music is doing 18 months after the Free Britney movement. It's been a year and a half since Britney Spears' conservatorship ended, and we were just interested in looking at what her streams and sales and biggest hits look like in that time period when people are just kind of experiencing Britney Spears' music once again kind of in a different reality of, of post-conservatorship Britney. I was surprised to learn Toxic has become Britney's biggest streaming hit over the past year. It peaked at number 9 on the Hot 100, but aside from Hold Me Closer, her new single, it was her most streamed song. Over the past year, it was her most played song on radio over the past year. Nearly 20 years since its release, and, and Toxic is, is basically as strong as ever. It's, it's kind of the de facto biggest Britney Spears catalog hit at this point. As you just mentioned, Britney's only release in seven years, Hold Me Closer with Elton John, did pretty well, debuting at number six on the Hot 100. People really love this song. Like it, It's become basically Britney's biggest hit in years, and it was never a sure thing to that, that it was going to last beyond that first few weeks. So Jason, tell me, when can we expect new music from the pop star? There's no announced plans for a new single, new album, but one thing that Hold Me Closer did suggest is that there is an openness to releasing new music at, at some point. 